Stroke review. Allison, a teaching pro, and Jose, a young tennis player. Let's go through the ready position. Jose is going to help demonstrate turn for the forehand volley. Now Allison's working on keeping this elbow raised because when the elbow goes in, the racket face opens up. It's really just a band-aid for her. So elbow raise, now step and go forward. All right, ready position. Okay, now the forehand ground stroke. Turn for the forehand ground stroke. Now, for a beginner, we're going to give the reference point right to here. And now here, they're going to let the racket free fall. Go ahead, step, Jose. Allison goes out and goes up, hand to hand. She doesn't want to go hand to throat catching the racket out here because she gets too close to the ball. You want to go hand to hand. Watch Roger Federer hit in practice and he catches the racket. When he plays, he hits so far away from his body, he doesn't catch the racket, but he stops the left shoulder. So it's the same principle. Now, ready position, turn for a volley, and hold it. Turn for a forehand volley, hold it. And now if you have to make an adjustment with your grip, have your left hand on the racket. Left hand on the racket. Because some players will turn like Roger Federer, they turn on three, and then they have the option to take the return to serve like a volley with an added follow through. Federer will do this, he'll turn on three, and then he changes his grip towards four in this position. Now, Allison used to take the racket low, too low too soon, and too far back. And if you go back three feet, you gotta go forward three feet. All right, ready position. So she's gonna turn, keep the racket higher, longer, turn, and now just go right around the beach ball and let's see your finish. Go way up. All right, very good. All right, now on the backhand volley. If you don't change your grip, you have to change your wrist. And Allison didn't have the grip on the backhand side. Right side at number one, so she would turn the racket like this and then just stop the racket in this position. When you hit a backhand volley, you turn here. Now if you turn further, the racket goes through space and the racket will be open, slightly open. When you hit a volley with the ball above the level of net, it's nearly vertical. But then when you finish, you finish out here. So that's what we want Allison to do. We don't want her to stop in this position. We want her to go all the way through. All right, so turn for the backhand volley. Now her left elbow is up. Now just step, swing, hit, hold, go. She has that power line where she's out in front. Now the underspin backhand. Now with the underspin backhand, like her backhand volley, she's gonna turn and she's gonna adjust the grip just a fraction of a fraction of a fraction where it's on the right side at number one. Now watch Jose. She leads in with the bottom edge of the racket, the checkpoint, hand-to-hand -hand forms a line. The racket's like an archway. All right, now on the two-handed backhand, hands together. Now she's gonna turn. Same thing, she's made an adjustment with her grip. Now her arm's on the inside. Now she's gonna sit in the chair. And now when she hit the ball initially, and we, we film all coaches to help them with their demos, just like we film players, but she went this way and released horizontally. She pulled off the hitting zone. So we want her to go up vertically in this position. Now what we need to do later today is show her pros. Someone like an Andre Agassi, a Martina Hingis, Djokovic, how the racket goes out this way and they release vertically from their elbows, not horizontally from their wrists. All right, now on the overhead. All right, she's gonna step back with her left hand on the racket. Copying Jose. Left hand longer. Now what she did is she had her racket go straight up to the sky like this. So now when the shoulder went forward, the elbow went back and she had to regress palm up. And then with flaw one, she had flaw two, she had to displace four, she had to pull to the left, she had to bend at the waist on hitting overheads. So both of you, ready position. Okay, left hand, go to the salute position. Okay, left hand longer on the racket, hold it on the racket the whole time, and the arm is loose. By using your left hand, you can relax the muscles in your right arm. If you keep your left hand on that racket longer in the beginning, then you can keep it up longer at the end. So you're here, number one, and then the power X, arm over arm, you're like this, number two. Actually, number three, so you're here first, you're here second. When you start to propel yourself forward, to bring my right hip forward, I'm gonna bring my left elbow back. So let's see, she gotta swing the overhead. Step, left hand longer. And then she goes around like she's talking on the telephone, clear the shelf, twist up, give the giant the high five. And she's gonna have this power, power line, the body and racket, lower body, upper body, arm and racket going out to the right. Okay, now the serve. On the serve, she had the same flaw, 
fanning the racket and letting the racket open up. If she wants to go in this position, we say brush your teeth, salute, comb your hair. She wants to turn and bend this way. So we'll call it, put the racket in the cobra position or the third base position. So Jose, go to the third base position and he's gonna be just like this, nice and loose. She's gonna do the same thing. And it's about being efficient. This left arm, she's gonna hang on to the ball this way. She was hanging on to the ball this way. But we want her to make the letter J, hanging on the ball like a glass of water and go this way. All right, so start in the beginning. So they turn, bathroom scale one, come back to bathroom scale two. Cobra position, left arm up. And then she's gonna come around this way. Palm is down. The racket goes between the elbow and head, goes this way, goes around and up. Now hold the power line, stay right there. Now with a, a pinpoint stance, right now go back to start the serve. The platform stance, they're just gonna swing and then step. The pinpoint stance, there's not very many advanced techniques, but one would be you're gonna load on that back foot, the bathroom scale, your head over the back foot, and then you bring your foot in to the instep, and then you go left foot first. But for right now, what's more important, she can later work on that, is she has to deal with flaw number one. Her arms gotta be loose, go to third base position, Jose, and she goes around this way, and keep that left arm up, and the body's from nose to toes is gonna be at a 45 degree angle, and she leans in at a 45 degree angle. All right, you two, give each other the high five. Good job. All right, now the forehand volley, ready position. So, Allison, you're gonna shadow swing, keep that elbow up, racket center, now hit and hold, hit straight ahead. All right, ready position, and again, breathe out as you hit. All right, now jog backwards, Jose. Now repeat, Jose. Okay, elbow bent, bent to bent, and then go forward, hit and hold, pushing motion. All right, very good. Jose, back on the T-line, T-line, jog backwards, ready position. Okay, now turn right to here. Okay, now hit a forehand, lift, sit in the chair and go up. Now a short backswing, Allison. Ready position, hand to hand on the follow through, Allison. And up, all right, very good, switch places. Turn, so short backswing. You're gonna let that racket go down. You're gonna pet the chihuahua. Feel like behind you, you're dribbling a basketball. Okay, turn, racket goes underneath. Okay, so now it's the Ferris wheel. It's not the merry-go-round. Shorten up the backswing. All right, one more time. Do that without the ball. Now watch your racket. Turn, give yourself a lesson. Watch the racket. And now with the ball, short. Over the bridge, up the hill. Around the beach ball. Much better. Backhand volley, index finger in the strings, the left hand, turn, left elbow up. Now turn more, separate your arms, knuckles forward. And again, so Allison, every time change the grip, right side at number one. All right, back, ready position. Okay, now turn and adjust, now go forward. All right, switch. So you're in a composite grip, Jose, you're gonna Turn from the composite grip, right side of one. Now don't have the racket go too far back. Okay, and again, keep going forward. Go through the shot, through the shot. And again, that's much better. Forward, forward, always forward. Okay, very good. And now, Jose on the T-line. We're gonna do the underspin back in. Now turn, show me your back. Turn more, lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. Hand to hand forms a line. And again, Turn, lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. All right, now switch. Now Allison should feel uncomfortable. Should feel like you're hitting drive slice, not float slice. So turn, because you're changing the grip. Swing with the arm from the shoulder. Feel like you're playing upper arm. Very good, you're sideways. Path of the racket, path of the target. All right, very good. Now the two-handers, switch places. All right, so turn Allison. You're gonna have the new grip, turn more. Get that arm on the inside, Jose. Just now swing out away from your body. You're gonna sit in the chair and go up. It's an upward swing for a downward spin. And again. And then rotate. All right, now turn. 
Turn more, arms on the inside, now leave the wrist fixed. Feel like the left hand's doing the work. That's it, lifting game. The more you swing up, the more the ball spins down. All right, very good. Okay. Jose is going to be hitting the ball, but I'm going to be talking to Allison. She needs to use that left hand longer. Left hand longer. And now find it. Footwork, footwork. Left hand on the racket. Palm down, palm down. You're in that salute position or quarterback position. Switch places. Allison's up. Oh, watch the net. No such thing as a bad feed. Very good. Palm down. One more time. Salute position. You know, much, much better with the palm down. Keep in mind that you wouldn't want to do this, Allison, and go back like this. You should take one step and you're in the same spot. You want to take crossover steps like this. Okay, ready to serve. Jose on the okay, turn, toss, go forward. Very good. And again, go forward, Allison. Keep that palm down, Allison. Okay, turn. And when you when you're uh, practicing, Allison, really think about what's going on behind you. Palm down, turn. Now bend. And now you're up, Allison. Jose, practice. Get some reps in. Shadow swing. Here you go, Allison. Okay, turn. Okay, get a ball, get the ball out to the right. Okay, start your swing slowly, then accelerate. All right, much better. Another high five. Good job. 